Another part of examination is the throat examination. In the throat examination, we will be asked specifically to examine the throat. So first of all, as usual, after meet and greet and introducing yourself, you are going to examine the throat. First of all, always you are going to look, ask the patient to look a little bit up. You are going to examine the throat. You are going to look for any scar mark. You are going to look for any swelling. You are going to look for any tracheal deviation, whatever you can see. Then you are going to ask, although you are not allowed to ask the patient to for ask any questions in the short case, but in this specific case, we can ask two questions. Either you can ask the patient or give commands to patient, but you can give commands over here, like you can ask the patient to swallow. And you are going to look for any swelling that is moving or not. You are going to look whether if there is any swelling which moves with the trunk protrusion or not. The most important aspect in throat examination is that whenever you are going to meet and greet the patient, you are always and always going to assess the sound of the patient, whether there is any hoarseness or not. It will give you an idea whether there is a disease in the larynx or not. After inspection, you proceed with laryngeal palpation. Now, there are two different types of palpation which you have to remember. First, you are simply going to look whether the trachea is midline or not. Simply, you are going to start over here. You are going to put your fingers, both fingers on the side and the middle finger in the mid and simply palpate whether the trachea is lying in the mid or not. After that, then we have to proceed with another examination which is the most important part of examination is that you will have to do a procedure that is called as laryngeal handshake. You have to simply take the larynx and rub it against the vertebra. If you feel any crepitus, this crepitus is called as mere crackles and this means that there is no mass or no nothing in between the cartilage of the larynx and the vertebra. There are two different types of mirrors in ENT. The one is called as ideal mirror, the other one is called as posterior anoscopy mirror. There is always a bend present in the posterior anoscopy mirror, but there is no bend and it's straight in ideal mirror. In mirror we use the bend mirror, in ideal we use the straight mirror. In ideal mirror you have to explain the procedure to the patient. There is a difference between the posterior anoscopy mirror and the ideal mirror. As usual, first you are going to explain the procedure to the patient, then you are going to heat up the mirror. You are going to heat up the mirror, as the mirror heats up, then you are going to clear it using a gauze. Once you have cleared it out, you are going to use the posterior surface of the mirror and put it in your hand to gain confidence of the patient. Then you are going to put it on his hand and you are going to ask him that it's not so much uh, hot, in fact it's warm. Then you are going to ask the patient okay, uh, to, take, uh, to protrude his tongue. Always grasp the patient's tongue in these two fingers, like this, and use this finger to take the lip up, and simply insert the mirror like this, and ask the patient to do E and R, and take deep breaths.